morning, good morning. I'm approaching the mirror, so that means it is a Vide Grenier Sunday. Even with a little bit of a runny nose, it's just really cold. It's really cold. It's cold enough that there is a little bit of snow outside. So that's really, really, really exciting. Yeah, it seems like the Vide Grenies are starting a little bit earlier than what I remember last year. I don't know if maybe we're just more aware that they're happening. And uh, now I've signed myself up to get notifications on Thursday, so I know where to go. Yesterday, we went to Toulouse for a antiques fair, and we also went to a brocante where we saw that there were a lot. Well, there were five comfy pots in neutral colors to choose from. We're talking gray, blonde, and uh, call it grige. I'm not sure, but I cannot wait to show you our haul. You're gonna be shorter than I am today. I know. Oh no, okay. Well, now we're about the same height. Oh, good. Oh, good. Can't call me short stack any longer. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. We hope that you've enjoyed some of the little mini clips that we shared with you with our Brocantine adventures. Justin, you've been more involved with. Yeah. looking for things and asking me about them and how I feel about them. Quite a learning process, <laughs> um, although we've been together for uh, over a decade yeah. um, when it comes to things that you appreciate and, and things that you like. I'm definitely learning, but I'm getting a knack for it. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my mantras is, if it's brown, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so um, if it's white, then uh, hold it tight. Okay. So that's, that's what I'm living by. And as you've mentioned in a couple of other videos, the shiny bits are now being more attractive to you. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm, I'm figuring out for myself too what works and uh, sort of what doesn't work. Yeah, thank you. Do you get frustrated when you bring an item up to me and I'm like, <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, sometimes. Sometimes I'm not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes there's definitely an item that will be catching my eye, a little coupe de cour, so it gives me jump and positive. Mm -hmm. And I get so excited and then I bring it to you and you have that special gleam in your eye that says, definitely not. I do have to give you credit. In our last video, Justin had found this beautiful 18th, 19th century pottery with the teal glaze. Mm. And you spotted that at the Pousse's flea market and I wasn't keen on it. Yeah. And it's because colors usually throw me off. Whenever I bring things into the home, I like them to be neutral because it's calming. But this one was quite beautiful. And even though I initially said no, you were you stood by your gumption. Yeah. And you said, you know what, I'm gonna enjoy this. I wanna keep it, but you've also offered it for sale. And it was snatched up right away. So thank you, doctor. You know who you are. Um, so that was a really beautiful piece. And then it turns out when I Google lensed it, it was I mean, these vessels were going for 700,000 euros. So it's so nice that we're able to find these little treasures for you and then offer them to you. But you had a feeling about it. So yeah. I'm going to trust you more when it comes to the uh, going into the more the, the color, the color reel. I'm going to venture out, spin my little eyes a little bit. Yeah, I don't mind um, going away a little bit from the, the blinks and the, the whites. And as you can tell from the picture behind us, Jenny is starting to actually gravitate towards color. So I think uh, that's, that's definitely a positive. Um, I think you hit it on the head though earlier when you said you're looking for more unique things. Yeah. I think that's the theme of this year is that uh, as we go to these Vite Greniers, which are even more special than Bracantes because it's people literally emptying out their attics. Yeah. A lot more exciting things, yeah. I think, this year. Yeah, I'm really excited. 
there are the staple things that I love owning and offering to you. And now there are things that we're gravitating to that are more unique and harder to find, just like that pottery that you yeah. came across with. You brought up the painting. Let's talk about this beautiful, colorful Steel Life painting that is signed. We were at a Brocant, um, um, uh, it was um, it was an old meal house. A meal oh house. yes, yeah. Right. It was along the river. It was a right grand there. space. You saw the footage earlier, and I spotted this. And normally, I just walk by it, but there was something about it that just drew me in. So I walked around the Procon because you know Justin and I usually split up, and so I came up and I was like, "What do you think about it?" And the first thing he tells me was like, "But it has color in it," <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I was like, "Yeah, but it's beautiful." I will show you a close-up later, but it has all these wonderful, like, um, thick, long brushstrokes. And I love paintings like that. I came across these two onyx marble candlesticks that I have never, never, never seen in my life. Maybe on Etsy, there's a metal spike that's actually um, made within the, the marble. So you put your candle in there, and there you go. Yes. Um, there was something kind of funny that happened at the Toulouse Antiques Fair. You may or may not know that this specific pottery um, is made from the village of Marc Tolizane. And Marc Tolizane is literally about half an hour, 40 minute drive yep. from our home. So um, we know that the cornflower blue Cornflower blue. Cornflower blue, you can call it like a, it's kind of like a purplish blue. There are purplish blue ones. Anyways, those are more rare. So Justin, <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin, so so we walk away and, and he and I both spotted, okay? Well, actually you were there, Kant guy and um, whoever he was talking to, the woman that was showing interest in the pot were, you know, talking about it. He was holding it. He was explaining how rare they were and how they come from a local village. He was talking about it. And Justin more so was just like kind of lingering around. Like, like you see him like, well, yeah. like edging in. It was really interesting because first of all, I wanted to hear how he was describing the pots in the area to see if what sort of jived with what we had heard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he was, and he was explaining to this lady who seemed to actually kind of know. So I was wondering if she was just letting him oh. sort of speak to him about them. Mm -hmm. She was talking to him and he's saying, oh yes, but this blue color is so very rare mm -hmm. and it's magnificent. And yes, there was a big fissure down the side, but mm -hmm. I think that was okay. But I must have hovered around there for about five to six minutes. I left. <laughs> yeah. Just waiting for her to uh, disappear so I could look at this pot much closer because when mm -hmm. I first saw it, she was already there talking to him about mm -hmm. it. And probably after hovering around for about five minutes, I left to go find you. Mm -hmm. I came back. She was still there. Mm -hmm. I left to go find you again. Mm -hmm. And then finally she was gone, but so was the pot because she bought it. Yeah. A really nice guy. Mm -hmm. I told him that uh, that was a great find that she had gotten. He agreed and he said, I have three more at home. And so <laughs> Two with the lids, actually. <laughs> Two with the lids. Yeah, so it was really exciting. Uh, I think we took a liking to each other, him and I. Uh, I found out he lives up north for about uh, half the month and then down in the Mediterranean for the other half. Mm -hmm. And he does this recreationally. He comes to Toulouse mm -hmm. once a month. So he gave me his number. He said, uh, give me a call about a week beforehand and he'll bring them over yeah. the next time. So in April, we're going to go check out what these pots look like, see yeah. the condition and also with the lids, so very exciting. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna save every penny for these pods because I know without a doubt, I'm definitely gonna get them. He told us they were in good condition and they have the lids, which is even more rare, so I'm so excited. And our house can use a little bit more of that blue slash violet color, so I'm pretty excited. I about thought he that. said they were white. Uh, he's got some more violet ones and white ones, yeah. You're kidding me. No. How does he have so many? I can't wait to ask him when I see him. Yeah. Oh, wow, we're gonna snatch them all. <laughs> Probably so. Starting yeah. to save our pennies right now. Yeah, they're they're definitely more expensive when it comes to the comfy pots. So, um, and I say that these are actually are more expensive than the typical um, oak or the yellow provincial pots that you see, just because they're just more rare, and it's made in a very condensed area. So I think that's what adds the price up. Another find there at Toulouse. I'm really excited to share with you are these candle stick holders, this bourgeois. Um, such a great couple. The wife was sat behind the tent 
and she was the polisher. Where in this yeah. family, Justin is the polisher. She had all of her, you know, her rags, and she had her gloves on, and she was just polishing away. Yeah, um, polishing at nine thirty in the morning. Everything there yeah. was just shiny and bright. You can mm -hmm. tell that they really took care of their items. And then these two here, very unique. Oh, so gorgeous! I'll give you all a close up. For me, my story in the Toulouse, <laughs> the Toulouse Antiques Fair. You see this hardware? These are bronze. Yeah. These these are from the 1800s, and they would put these on their wall and then adhere their curtains. You know, usually with with the rope. So I've been looking for um, these. You know, I go up to a stand and I'm like, uh, I ask him um, how much it is, basically, and he goes, one million. <laughs> Mille cent. And I said, yeah. and we just kind of looked up and you laughed. And then you said, not mille cent cinquante. Like, not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, it was just joking with him. But he was, he had such a straight face about it. And I thought, oh my God, from the 1800s. Oh, okay. I mean, if, if it's bronze, that's what you want to charge. That's your value. All right. So I just kind of like, just was still talking to the guy. And I'm looking at the stall and I just kind of like start sliding, sliding away, start sliding away. Cause I was just like, I'm not going to deal with somebody who wants a thousand euros for these, you know, curtain, um, holdbacks. And so I like go away and then Justin is still talking about me and he calls me over again. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I just say Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Cause he's like, love saying my name. And he goes, is so-and-so okay? And I said, oh really? And my mouth drops. Cause I didn't think that. Cause happened. it wasn't a thousand euros. No. Yeah. No, it's fun. I mean, a lot of these guys, uh, they're sitting there, it's cold, they're a little bored, so they like uh, they like to play with their food, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. you know? I don't blame them. I've had these baskets from the 1800s. And I have to warn you, this one came with champignon, and if you don't know what that is, I'm not going to tell you. But we gave these a good clean, a good rinse, a good soap, and oh, these baskets. They're beautiful. They're handmade, and you can just tell, like, like how ancient they are. You know, these are so old and they're so special. Mm -hmm. We are the caretakers. It's really up to us. But sometimes when you leave things out in the elements, yeah. nature takes over <laughs> and you develop champignon. <laughs> but anyways, I have these two beautiful baskets. And is there anything in particular that you like? Yeah, that you there is. And um, I probably like this one because um, since we've been doing this now for a year, I feel like I'm growing in my understanding of what I like, what you like. Um, you mentioned um, pottery from different regions, and one of the original ones that we started collecting was de Guan. Mm. And um, in a vide grenier that we went to on Sunday in Marmarjo, which was actually our local one. Oh, that's right. We hit up two that Sunday, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. We, or I found a, a picture and, you know, I looked at the picture and it's, it's beautiful and it's shiny and uh, it was labeled exactly what it was on the bottom mm -hmm. and uh, it was a to go on picture. Mm -hmm. So I asked the gentleman and we had bought and stuff from him before. I said, uh, how much do you want for this? And he gave me uh, an exorbitant price and he says, c'est un valentin. <laughs> Valentine or Valentine is another region close by to us. And I looked at it my mom. Maybe I heard him wrong because mm -hmm. it's obviously De Guan. I go, <laughs> no, c'est un De Guan. Uh -huh. And he said, Valentine. <laughs> and I said, no. And he said, Valentine. So literally, this did go back like ping pong ball three times. And I go, but look, on the bottom, it says De Guan. <laughs> and he's all, oh, c'est un De Guan. <laughs> So uh, because of that, I, you know, literally said, hey, it's not what you say it is. Yeah. Uh, and plus it was Mark, so I cheated a little bit because it was on there. Yeah. I ended up getting a, a reasonable price of what we should do, but it just validated yeah. all the hard work and learning that we've been doing over the year. Yeah. Plus it's such a shiny, beautiful little bit um, that it's my favorite of the haul. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I love that. I love that. Um, in one of our previous videos where I do the pottery haul where in Berg Goring, I, I, I share with you all Justin's love for the Guan and that it all started with a coffee cup. Do we have one here in front of us? So anyways, those are just, just little story times for you. Um, as always, Justin, we appreciate everybody who watches us. Definitely. It's for so sweet. The comments we're getting are amazing. Yeah. Uh, they make me laugh. 
Some of them make me cry, but always <laughs> they're very well appreciated. Yeah, you guys are all so very sweet and kind, and, and I really appreciate that. So we hope that we are giving you the same energy. You continue to send us positive vibes. Oh. All right, friends and family, we are going to say goodbye to you, and I will uh, finish up this video with a little bit of... Uh, what is it called, my love, when I... What is it called, Justin? Really? Panning, Panning in detail. Panning in detail, showing you all the things that we found. We wish you all well. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend ahead of you. Thank you for supporting us on Etsy and support channel. Gross bisous. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. All nice, right. Nice, sweetie. Good job. Good job. We did it. found yeah. another opaline light, but this one is more unique in shape. I liked that so. one. And the beautiful bronze curtain backs. Look at these. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I didn't do my nails. This is the smallest blonde coffee pot that I've ever found. Do a little comparison on the size there. These old lamp burners, this French Moroccan dish. Isn't that stunning? Again, I will share all of these with you on Etsy and give you some styling ideas on how you can decorate your home. Oh, this very heavy marble onyx pedestal, very old. It's in fair condition. It's not too great, so, but still beautiful. This picture I thought was really lovely. Never seen anything like that before. Liked all the divots in there. I don't know if that was intentional. Oh yeah, maybe it does look like it. Look at the welding that was done on that. So it may or may not have been repaired at one time. I can't tell you. This one, oh, and I hold it, it's so beautiful. And then the baskets from the 1800s. Wow. So beautiful. So you see, I've got my little basket collection out there and I have some upstairs. Justin's find of the uh, Diguan picture. That's truly a vintage there. It's in fair condition, not too bad. I gave it a clean the best I could. And then these two things I found. I want to curate with another piece, so I think I'd like to offer these as a trio. So stay tuned on Etsy and you can see what I mean by three. And then these, oh wow, this is the same color as you can see. God, I love those. So beautiful. Oh, I like that one from the marble too. Ooh. And then the utensil holder. I'll ask Justin to give these a good polish for you and see if we can shine these up even more. And so it comes with two little um, holes so you can screw it onto your wall. Look at that. Let's see. The pan. And then last, we have this gorgeous painting. I'd really like to offer you more paintings. Look at the look at the type of strokes used. See what I meant by thick? It's look at those brush strokes. I'll show you the back. Oh, I was using a pot to hold it up. It's with the hemp canvas. I guess, there we go. You can tell how old that is. 
and it was once priced at one thousand two hundred and fifty. Whoa! <clears throat> so yeah, that's what we have for you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again.